when we have a continuous ink system that's come to the end of its life what we can do is upgrade it to the latest level of continuous ink system so what I'm going to demonstrate here is how we can take off the old system and transfer the inks across to a new system so the first thing to do uh, is to move the carriage to the ink change position this is demonstrated on an Epson 2400 but the same procedure can be carried out on uh, any other desktop printer so we'll take out the, the, the middle support and on this particular printer we've got a little we've got to undo a little screw here which which holds the uh, the the carrier for the matte black cartridge so we take off the the nuts there undo it's here we take off this carrier which we won't need again this is the matte black and what we do now is undo all of the cartridges just rest them on top of the carriage so we pull them out and just rest them and we get hold of an elastic band and we can put an elastic band around the whole assembly and then that very nicely be careful here that we can then push our push our carriage up to the far end and move the move the the old CIS cartridges out to one side now what we can do is leave these cartridges upside down if you like you can leave them upside down overnight but even over a few hours you'll see the ink travel down back into the reservoirs uh, in fact I can you won't be able to see them but I can see ink bubbles coming down here uh, and the these cartridges are empty so we'll just change the the view of the camera over to the side so you'll be able to see the transfer procedure that we that we do let's just move the camera across there we are that's a better view now we've got our new continuous ink system here we've gone out and bought some some tubing in this case from Halfords uh, you, you, there's two tubings that are, that are suitable the 3 16 tubing uh, 4.7 mil but the tubing I prefer is the 3.2 mil tubing which is an eighth and that's the reference number HWP10 in actual fact it's just ordinary windscreen washer tubing that's an eighth diameter but either diameter works no problem at all this is only a few pounds so let's move one out of the way and let's prepare a nice little bit of tubing that enables us it enables us to to transfer the inks quite nicely and all we do is we cut this tube into in this case nine five or six inch lengths five or six inches as you see here now, I won't do the whole lot I won't I won't bore you now with the system you actually have supplied uh, a whole complement of of syringes now I'll demonstrate how we move the ink across from the old system to the new and then of course the new installation you can look at uh, movie number number eight in our series which will tell you how to actually install the new system but let's talk about transferring the inks across so in this case we'll demonstrate it on the yellow so we'll undo the yellow stopper and the breather We've got, the, we've got the new system and the important thing of course is to be able to transfer the inks across nice and cleanly. So we take out the stopper of the, of the yellow, we put the little breather in for the, for the time being, we connect up our tube as, as, as you can see. Now not a bad idea is to have our, our trusty roll of kitchen towel 
just in case of little accidents so we can we'll we'll withdraw the yellow we're very very careful to make sure our our tubing is brand new and of course we're using a brand new syringe for the transfer of ink so we're going from yellow to yellow go across there we go like that and the little bit of paper just catches any any drips because the ink is extremely strong as you can imagine and you just do, would not want to flick this ink anywhere beyond their working area I'll just pull that as you can see how easy this is and you carry on with this procedure until you've actually transferred all the ink across we can stop that now until you've transferred all the ink across to your new system your old system can come away and we've transferred all our new ink all our, all our good ink into the new continuous ink system and all we need to do now is to prime the new cartridges with the uh, with the 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 same uh, uh, with the same syringes incidentally but we've cleaned out the syringes with fresh running water and we make sure that we have uh, each syringe uh, is the is the correct color so if we transfer the yellow across we make sure that we actually prime the yellow cartridge with that particular syringe now for you to continue on from this tutorial I recommend you now look at movie uh, number uh, 8 that's license 8 CIS installation for desktop printers